Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring St. Martin. After doing some research, we decided that we were going to be trying out a new app to book an excursion for ourselves. We read about the Resort Pass app and decided to download it and give it a try in St. Martin. The Resort Pass app has pool and beach access to hundreds of resorts in the U.S. and all around the world. We booked the Morgan Resort for $40 per person. This fee included access to the pool and the sunbathing deck at the Morgan Resort. But there was a nice little hidden uh, bonus that came with this pass as well, which we'll tell you about in just a moment. So we docked in Phillipsburg, which is the capital of the Dutch side, of St. Martin. There are lots of things that you can do within walking distance of the port so you don't have to actually book anything if you don't want to. If you just want to do a little bit of shopping or eat at a local restaurant, you could easily do that. There are lots of taxis. Also, you can easily get a taxi out front um, and they are pretty much set with the prices on where, depending on where you want to go. Front Street and Boardwalk are two great places where you can kind of hang out or that are good places that are noteworthy on that part, in that city, on that part of the island. However, we did decide that we were going to head to the resort and it also happens to be next to one of the most popular places on the island and that is Maho Beach. I mean, this is a public beach that's right next to the airport. You've probably seen the famous pictures from here, people on the beach with the giant jets overhead. Many people flock to this iconic beach to get that photo as jets are landing into Princess Juliana International Airport. The Morgan Resort is next to Maho Beach, so you've got great views from here, from the sunbathing deck. You'll see the planes and hear them coming and going. You can watch both landing and taking off from the Morgan Resort. So from the port, we took a taxi. It was about a 30-minute ride. It was a beautiful ride over to the other side, and it cost us about $20. And once we arrived at the resort, we checked in at the front desk and they gave us some wristbands to access the pool area. So let me go ahead and give you a little tour of the pool deck at the Morgan Resort.
Now, after a little bit, we got hungry and we ordered some food from the resort restaurant. We got the pulled pork sandwich, conch fritters, and we also tried the local guava adult beverage. The food was great. It was a little bit pricey, but not, not so much that you wouldn't consider buying it. It's about the same price as just about every other nice resort that you would imagine. We did spend a lot of time plane, plane spotting, as you can imagine, watching the jets coming in, um, all different size from small planes to the big jets coming in from the mainland, from the U.S., the water in the pool was the perfect temperature. We also had a beautiful weather to enjoy our day. We did spend about four hours at the resort and we were pretty happy overall with our purchase in the Resort Pass app. We easily got a taxi from the resort right back to the port. We did have a great day in St. Martin, just kind of relaxing at the resort there. We do highly recommend using the Resort Pass app to purchase a day pass to a resort. As you travel, it makes for a very easy excursion off of a cruise ship. So we hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please, please leave those down below in the comments. Do subscribe to the channel and give us a like, and we'll see you at the next port.